Okay, I thought I'd make a cup of coffee this morning and uh, test out my MSR stove that I bought last year at the same time. So I wanted to show you the, the lighting procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump this up. And I've already pumped it quite a few times, but I'm going to pump it a little more. Now this, uh, this, this just catches right here. So that's all in the manual. So this is off. This valve's off. So I'm going to turn this on all the way. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to turn this on, get a little fuel in there. And what I like to do, that's a lot of fuel actually, is I like to dump it a little so I can make sure that I get a little of my fuel on that little wick down there. Hopefully you can see it. camera's really bad at focusing close, but anyway, that's the wick. It's a little rope wick. Try and get that wet. <clears throat> right now I'm using kerosene, which uh, doesn't exactly light right up. <clears throat> you have to have it on a, some sort of substance. You can't light kerosene by itself um, unless you get it really hot. So you have to put it on something like a piece of paper or a piece of rope. And this is, this is normally no problem. Um, I may not have gotten that piece of rope wet. Actually, I didn't. Put a little more fuel. And hopefully I got it at that time. It's not, this, this, uh, this stove's not hard to light. You just have to make sure you get that little wick what okay and that time I got it Really pretty windy right now. Whoa. And of course, this works much better when you put the wind guard on it. But I left it off because I wanted you guys to see this. See, right now when I turn it up, you get a ball of flames there. Um, it's not heated up yet. See? But once it heats up, you won't see that at all. I didn't record that. I didn't get elapsed time, but I can tell you it was really fast. Um, the Dragonfly stove has plenty of power. It's noisy as heck. It sounds like a jet engine or something. But uh, there's my cup of coffee. I left this valve on and I turned this valve off. The reason I did that is so all the excess fuel that's in this line 
will burn out of there and I don't get it in my sack that comes with it and my backpack. So there you have it.